I'm gonna talk about why I won't be adding Okja to my arsenal of vegan films. This is a world. This is a world. This is a world. Hey, y'all, welcome to another Food for Thought. So today I'm gonna be talking about the movie Okja. The film is about a young girl named Mija who risks everything to save her friend Okja. Okja just happens to be a genetically engineered super pig that Mija has spent the last 10 years raising with her grandfather. Okja is directed by Korean film director Bong Joon-ho. Bong Joon-ho is known for some fairly darkly themed films. These include the dark comedy Barking Dogs Never Bite, the very popular 2006 monster movie The Host, crime thriller The Mother, and the recent dystopian blockbuster Snowpiercer. If you haven't seen these films, I highly recommend them. They're all very inventive films with great characters and interesting plots. All in all, I found Okja to be a very entertaining film. I found my fully engaged the entire time I was watching the film. I certainly felt for the characters and wanted to see them win. The film also boasts a great cast, including Tilda Swinton as the evil head of the multinational corporation that invented Okja, Jake Gyllenhaal as an Animal Planet-esque TV host, one of my favorite actors Paul Dano plays the head of the Animal Liberation Front, and of course there's Sao Hyun in the role of Mija. My biggest problem with Okja is that it could so easily be confused with an animal rights film, and in my opinion, it's just not. I compare a film like Okja in the arsenal of tools for animal liberation the same way someone might look at Uncle Tom's Cabin as a pro-abolitionist film. The problem with Uncle Tom's Cabin is it presents us with Uncle Tom, who is this completely idealized human being. He's not even a human being, he's a saint, right? And it basically says that for us to feel for the plight of a slave, we have to see them as perfect, as, you know, godlike, as saintly, as beyond reproach, as opposed to simply believing that a human being shouldn't be enslaved. Uncle Tom's Cabin also gives us Simon Legree and a host of other villains who are such despicable people that we forget the fact that it was really just the average person who went along with the idea of slavery. So in the end, it defeats its purpose. If all slaves aren't like Uncle Tom, and if all slave owners aren't like Simon Legree, then slavery might not be such a bad thing. Right? Well, getting back to Okja, it kind of does the same thing. For us to believe that Okja is worthy of life, of not being sent to the slaughterhouse, we have to believe that Okja is, you know, one, capable of saving a human life, which happens in the first 10 minutes of the film. We have to believe that Okja is basically smarter than most of the humans in the film. To demonstrate my point, Okja does something amazing early in the film. Later, they return to the grandfather's home and Misha and her grandfather sit down to a chicken dinner where we actually see the full cadaver of the chicken in the pot. So where Okja, as a very special animal, might be worthy of having her life save, the average chicken doesn't. Also, the head of the multinational corporation, played by Tilda Swinton, is the most despicably evil character imaginable. Well, actually, her sister is the most despicably evil character imaginable, but we don't meet that person until the end of the film. The film does also offer some scenes inside of a slaughterhouse that I found incredibly effective. Partially because as the viewer, I was able to go through that experience in the mind of the animal on their way to slaughter. It was a pretty powerful moment in the film. Unfortunately, I think most people will go through this film without ever making the connection between the animal that was killed to provide the food on their plate and the plight of Okja, who of course we all love and root for. Regardless of its effectiveness as an animal rights advocacy film or a film for vegans, Okja is a pretty darn good film. I recommend watching it. Also check out Mod Vegan's review of the film. Maybe I'll provide a link somewhere. Okja is a Netflix original film and is available on Netflix. That's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourselves. Peace. And I love myself.